So you're looking at lasers, you're really gonna be asking yourself two questions. First, what laser do I actually want to get? And for that, I've done a bunch of different reviews in the past and encourage you guys to check out. But the second question is actually a little bit harder and a little bit more interesting, and that is what you are going to make. And specifically for this video, what are you going to make that will make you money. So let's go through my top 10 list of products that I've either sold myself or I've seen others sell. Let's jump into it. So we're going to go in reverse order starting with number 10. Now a lot of these products are things I've actually sold myself on Etsy or I've seen other people sell them. And for the most part with these products you don't really have to use a CO2 laser which is like this one from Ohmtech. You could actually use one of the cheaper diode lasers and still be able to get a really nice result. But at number 10 I wanted to start with a fun one that's a little bit unique and that is something that you may have never seen before and that's a bookmark. Some avid readers out there that really might like to have a custom bookmark. And what I really like about this one is this is actually pulled from the map to Lord of the Rings, is you could really customize these to the type of reader that you're going after. And customization is going to be an ongoing theme that we talk about in all of these products, because the more you can customize something, the more focused you can be when you actually go to market whatever you make. And this is super easy to make. This is just like three millimeter Baltic birch with just a picture engraved on top of it. Now, instead of just targeting certain fan groups, you could also target certain industries, especially ones that are local to you. So for number nine, I wanna talk about these really cool closing gifts that are big keys that real estate agents will give to their clients once they close on their house. Now by going the real estate route, you're gonna be able to go local. There may not be as much competition versus trying to sell straight through Etsy. And what's really nice about this is if you develop a relationship with a specific real estate agent or an entire agency, this is just repeat customers on an ongoing basis. And coming back to customization, every single one of these could be customized to whoever their client is. So you're really gonna be able to offer a service that's really custom to them. All right, at number eight, moving away from wood, let's just talk about leather in general as a product category. I actually haven't done a ton of leather stuff with my lasers, but I definitely have seen a lot online, specifically patches for trucker hats and then engraving directly onto wallets. Again, both of the hats and the wallets, those can be customized either to a specific company if they're wanting to put their logos on it or all the way down to a very specific person. Way back in the day, my wife actually bought me a wallet that just has my initials on it. So that's something you could easily offer. And when it comes to leather, if you're just doing these really simple engraves, you can crank those out really fast. Okay, coming in at number seven, this is really holiday specific and it is going to be Christmas ornaments. And these really can run the gambit in terms of styles. If you just look for a laser engraved Christmas ornaments on Etsy, you'll get a ton of different ideas. But again, banging the drum for customization, I really like when you can customize it specific to people. So that could be like these where they're putting initials and names on the design that's going to be just for your client. And I've actually got a friend who will take pictures of pets, specifically dogs, and then raster engrave those onto an ornament that has the year right on to it. Now the drawback with these, these are very seasonal. And if you're gonna be selling them this year, you need to get on it because it's about to get crazy in terms of the gift buying season. But if you do find a design that works, it could be something that you could ramp up for next year. Now coming in at number six, this is going to be very specific for whoever you're making it for. And that is going to be a laser engraved photo. And you really see these a lot in terms of family portraits, but I've actually been doing a ton of testing of this Ohm Tech Polar Machine where there's gonna be a review video coming soon. And you can see my family portrait right now just includes R2, D2. But that's just a really small image. You definitely could make it bigger. And you could also play around with the different materials. I actually find MDF does a really good job giving you a nice engrave just because you're not gonna get the wood grain that you're gonna get with actual hardwood or even plywood like this. But even things like slate or stainless steel, you can get some really cool effects by doing family pictures. So coming in at number five are custom maps. And you can see a bunch of different versions of these online. I really like the city ones where you have all the roads in there, but I also really like the topographic ones where you have the elevation lines that are going through. And again, this is something you can definitely turn into a series or make them custom depending on the location and what you want to put in the map. Now, the hard thing with maps is you actually need to figure out what the image is going to be. And there's definitely some free resources out there, but I actually like to use a software called QGIS. 
and I did a full walkthrough on how I use it to generate maps. But basically you can just download a bunch of data and then pretty much turn the map into whatever you want it to be. For instance, this is just one of city data. So I can have buildings and streets. This one's from Atlanta, but then I can also turn it into like a trail topographic map as well. And all of that you can do directly inside of QGIS. So all that being said, personally maps are one of my favorite things to play around with. And I'm sure you can figure out a use case or project idea for your situation. Now, as we're going through this list, you definitely want to think about where you are going to sell these. Your first go might be to go directly at Etsy. Just know if you are going on Etsy, you're basically competing with everybody else. I definitely recommend people starting out local, whether it's your local buy and sell Facebook groups like Facebook Marketplace or even at local craft fairs or again with local businesses. And then one of the things that really helps if you're selling to businesses is normally the first thing they're going to ask you is, oh, that's cool. Do you have like a picture so I can see what this is going to look like? And you need a place for that picture to live which brings us to the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. And I mean, come on, you've heard of Squarespace, but it really is the easiest place where you can build your brand and your website online. Squarespace is what I first used when I was selling kids books. I had a whole website that was dedicated just to showing those books off. And if I was gonna go and sell products locally, I would turn to Squarespace because it's really easy to make a full portfolio of images as well as create actual products that you can sell. So not only can you get a domain name, you can also get a nice website and you can have the full e-commerce side of things. So if that is something you are looking to get into, I encourage you guys to use my link down below. You'll be able to save on a domain and or website by going through that link. All right, let's get back into the list. All right, coming in at number four, these are usually really quick to do and you can crank out a bunch of them and they're just going to be tags in general. So everything from dock tags, so if you're using stainless steel, you can engrave the name or engrave and design onto those. But then you can also do like luggage tags. And then one of my favorites is actually presents. So with the holidays coming up, you could offer a really cool, unique wooden tag and kind of in the same tag category. I also see things like cake toppers, like for birthdays, whether you're making them out of acrylic or again, out of wood. These are another cool option that don't take a lot of material and they don't take a lot of machine time. Okay, coming in at number three, this is actually why I initially bought a laser and that was to customize tumblers. And this one I've actually customized and played around with a bunch, so it doesn't look that great. What's nice about the tumblers is you can do this with either a diode laser or a CO2 laser. So all you're really doing is taking off this top layer of powder coat, and then you're getting your logo or whatever you want your design to be underneath. Now this definitely is a really popular service. So I would definitely encourage you to look local. If there's different companies or organizations, where you could do a bigger bulk order of these tumblers and sell them all directly to one person. Coming in at number two, this is going to be a very popular item, especially if you are a woodworker, and that is going to be the cutting board. So if you are building your own cutting board, you might have been asked before, hey, is there a way that I could engrave this with a name? I've also seen people put entire recipes on it. Or if you're doing them for like a restaurant, they may want to put their logo on there. Cutting board customization is definitely something you could do. And even if you don't build them yourself, you can definitely just buy them online and then customize them for whoever wants them. And again, I definitely would try actually targeting the business customers. So like with restaurants, they might have like the wooden boards, like charcuterie, I can't say that word, those boards where they put the cheese and all the different appetizers. They might be using a bunch of those that they want to get customized versus just a straight cutting board, which you may not have very many of. All right, coming in at number one, this really just seems like a product that is right up the alley for lasers. And that is going to be coasters, whether you're putting your own logo on it or you're making it custom for a certain person. And I definitely see people customizing these with photos. So this is me looking really serious. And this one was actually fun because this photo doesn't exist. I made this completely with AI. And again, that's a video I've done a full tutorial on if you wanna see how you can make some really cool unique images using things like Dolly or Stable Diffusion. But more specific slate coasters seem to be really popular because you can do these reverse engraves where you're actually revealing the slate underneath. Now you could definitely use other materials like hardwoods. I just know slate and stone seems to be really popular, especially when it comes to coasters and having things wet. You normally don't wanna have that on. Would. Actually, I have a really big list that I tried to narrow down, but a few other really quick rapid fire ones would be kid name puzzles or really just any type of toys that you can make out of a laser by cutting it out of wood. This could be a cool option. A wooden pizza peel. So kind of going along the same lines of your cutting boards or your charcuterie boards, you could do a pizza peel, whether it's directly to someone using it at home or maybe a local pizzeria that has a bunch of these that they want to have branded for themselves. And then what goes really well with pizza 
beer. And so beer tap handles are another great way that you can customize something specific to a restaurant. You can always buy the stock handles and then customize them. And they kind of like the bookmarks. Some things that we don't carry as much anymore are keys, but those that do might like to have some type of wooden customized keychain on it. And then one final one, and this might be specific to hotels, is you can make wooden do not disturb hang tag, especially seeing this with more of the higher end like boutique hotels, where you can make something that is super custom to them, maybe use a really nice veneered hardwood. And it's a really cool standout product that you could offer to a different type of business. And since we're talking about products for things to watch out for, on the CNC side of things, I used to sell a bunch of these football stadium signs, which is just like a bunch of different football stadiums. And especially going into the holiday season, like I would sell hundreds. But as I'm doing all this work during the holiday season, one day I get this email and it's from Texas A&M. And it's basically a cease and desist because I think they had trademarked the actual name of the stadium. And so I pretty much took that listing down because I didn't want to deal with it. And the one thing people wanted me to put with all these stadiums that I knew I could not were the actual logos of the teams because those definitely are trademarked. So all that being said, you make whatever you want to make. Just know if you're working with copyrighted content, you could be potentially getting an email from a lawyer. So those are all the things that you can make with a laser, but if you still are struggling with what laser do I actually get to make, here is a full video that walks through all the different types of lasers and my recommendation for each category. We're gonna jump into that right now, and until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.